Yo, my name is Julian Melnick and welcome back to the console gaming channel. Guys, today we're talking about the Nintendo Switch. Should you buy an original, beautiful, giant, bulky Nintendo Switch or should you buy its beautiful, tiny counterpart, the Nintendo Switch Lite? Now, just so you know, this is a day one Switch. It works. It works perfectly fine. The only thing that I've changed out are the Joy-Cons because I did get drift and I had to change those out. And this. I've had it for about two months now, and I use it exclusively for 30 days. Let's talk about which one's right for you, and let's start off with the price. Well, we got ourselves a $100 difference. This one coming in at around $300 USD, and this right at $200, or whatever your tax in your state is. When it comes to how to play these things, this one, you can only play it on this system. At least that's the way it's intended to be used. Some people probably have figured out ways to hack it and play it on a TV, but this is the way it's supposed to be played. This can be played handheld or on a television. And now let's get into the nuances and what makes each one right for you. I would start out by saying this guy right here, the Nintendo Switch Lite, for me, is the perfect handheld system. I do enjoy the form factor. I feel like it feels better than the Nintendo Switch. I think its size is perfect. I like the way it feels in my hand. You can stick it into a pocket. It just, it feels right. And when you're playing a crazy awesome game like Breath of the Wild, it just feels like you're doing something wrong. Like, I can't believe I'm playing a game that looks like this on such a small screen. It makes it feel so next gen, and I love the way it feels. And this color, guys, oh, this blue is so beautiful. And is it blue? Is it indigo? Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I do not really feel the big difference between the screen sizes. Some people say, well, the Nintendo Switch has a 6.2 inch display, and the light only has a 5.5 inch display. But honestly, when I'm playing this, I'm I'm playing this handheld. I'm not playing it because I can't use my TV. I'm playing it because I'm intentionally playing it handheld. And I find myself looking for games that are gonna be experienced well in this form factor. This right here is a very unique and awesome way to play. And I'll say that the D-pad feels great. It's just a solid system. Now, when it comes to its limitations though, I will say there are some really, really big ones. One being you cannot play this on the TV. And that is something that was huge for me, especially if you're playing games like Breath of the Wild. That looks great on a TV. Or if you wanna play a multiplayer like Mario Kart or Super Smash Brothers, sure, you can play it on this small screen. It needs a third party shelf of some sort. And you would have to bring in some other controllers because there's no additional controllers with this. You just have what is here. Now, if we're kicking over to the big boy, the Nintendo Switch, those problems are solved. This comes with a really flimsy kickstand. I do not like it, it breaks off, it's really floppy. But it does come with these Joy-Cons and this is what makes this such a crazy awesome system. This right here is a full controller with one thumbstick. You can turn it to its side and you got yourself one L, one R button, four other buttons and a joystick. This is enough to play Mario Kart. This is enough to play Super Smash Brothers. This is enough to do a lot of things and it's amazing. You can also take both off and put them into like any sort of handles to make it into its own singular controller. This thing just has versatility and you can put it onto a TV. So this thing does come ahead if those are the things you're looking for. And for me, after 30 days of using the Nintendo Switch, I definitely have a verdict. And before we get to that, if you're finding any sort of value, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want video game news, reviews, unboxing, and playthroughs, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. The bell will keep you up to date so you never miss a video. And share this with a friend who's looking to buy a Nintendo Switch because I think this is gonna be great for them. All right, so what's my verdict? For me, this guy is what I would stick with. I stream and it's tough to stream on something that you can't dock. So that first off was a big deal. Along with that, um, I do like the ability to take a Joy-Con off, toss it at a buddy who's talking smack and challenge them to Super Smash Brothers, as well as playing this on the TV. That's a huge, huge thing for me. But if I was just breaking it down to handheld experiences, this would be left on a shelf. In fact, I often do grab my Nintendo Switch Lite just to play games in handheld mode. Now, I do own both, and if you're someone who's like, should I get a Nintendo Switch Lite with my Nintendo Switch? I would honestly say no, because it's a lot of work. Sure, the cloud saves you can transfer between your systems does work, and it is something that you can do, but there's some caveats. When I had the Nintendo Switch Lite on vacation, I had to create a mobile hotspot just to verify that my user was the one that could play the digital copies of games that I had. 
every single time I put the system to sleep, when it woke up, I had to re-authenticate that I was able to play that game. It became tedious, it was doable, I could work around it, I figured out a way to do it, but it wasn't seamless, and I couldn't just pick it up and go. Now if you always have an internet connection and you never have to worry about creating your own, then the cloud saves does work. I don't think that a Nintendo Switch Lite is worth the 200 extra dollars just to have two systems though, because you can honestly just use your Nintendo Switch. Now, the Nintendo Switch Lite is a beautiful system. If you're never gonna dock it or you're just getting it for Animal Crossing, that thing is the way to go. The Nintendo Switch Lite is amazing and it's super good for kids because again, there's no moving parts. It's a fully closed system. Throw a hard case on the back and you got yourself something that can be thrown around. I wouldn't recommend throwing it around, but it has the full support except for removable Joy-Cons and TV dock. So this is great for kids. And it comes in a bunch of colors, which I really, really like. So, which one are you gonna buy? Are you guys gonna get a Nintendo Switch Lite? Are you gonna get a normal Nintendo Switch? Do you already have one, or are you gonna look to get a second one? Let me know in the comments below, along with what's your favorite color of the Nintendo Switch. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and most of all, happy gaming.